What's going on, my kings, my queens, and my in betweens? What's going on, my Sagittarius? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress. And for those who are new to my channel, I give that spiritual tea and see what's going on in your life, what kind of advice I can give to you at this time. And um, yeah, this is going to be about love, obviously. Valentine's Day is coming up. I know you guys want to know what's the tea, what's going on. So we are going to be checking in into the past energy for those who still care, for the present energy. And we're going to see for my singles who are who's new that's going to come in and knock on your door and tell you they love you. <laughs> or however that works. However the story goes. Okay? So, um, whatever doesn't resonate, just, you know, let it fly. If it don't resonate at all, just wait next week. Maybe it's, this is not your week. Maybe this is somebody else's week. All right? Don't be selfish. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's get right into it. For the past energy for my Sagittarius, what's the, what's the messages for the past, for those who want to dip in and see what's the energy, what's the messages regarding love. Okay, yeah. So the energy is, wow. The energy is that this past person definitely still want to offer you something. They want to offer, they want to go on a date. It's going to be something small. Like, they don't have much to offer you. I'm, I'm going to just keep it a buck fifty right now. They don't have a lot to offer you. They're not trying to offer you a lot. I feel like, mm, yeah, see, with the devil attached to it, too. Yeah, I feel like, um... They're scared of commitment. They want to offer you commitment. They're, they're, they're the type to promise you commitment, promise you or make you feel like, you know, that that's what they're going to do or give you. But that's not what that's not what they're going to do. <laughs> this person is very, very um, closed off when it comes to their heart. Um, definitely. They have a hard time expressing how they feel. All right, this is the type of person that um, can get a little snappy and um, they have a little temper to them. Okay. Overall, they they definitely want to, you know, they want to, they want you in their life for sure. The past person wants you in their life in some way, shape or form, whether if it's just a friendship or just something light, it doesn't have to be nothing heavy. I feel like if you guys was to get too deep, it wouldn't, it would be, it would become a toxic situation or it has already in the past. And that's just what the energy is. Yeah. Cause there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of uh, betrayal here, you know? So this is not something that, uh, for those who want to be with their ex and stuff like that, I do see them wanting to offer you, um, uh, still be in your good graces or still have contact with you in some way, but I just don't see it to being an easy road or promising. Just, just being honest. Let's move on to the present energy, though. And see, what's the present vibes and love for my Sagittarius? What's the present vibes? What's the present vibe and love for my Sagittarius? Oh, okay. There's a lot going on. Let's see. Wow. I'm hearing emotionally intelligent. So some of you are definitely dealing with someone who have a certain, um, hmm. You could be definitely dealing with a Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be that sign. Right now, you guys could be in a relationship already you could be feeling like you've met the one okay 
but somebody could be a little nitpicky when it comes to the relationship trying to you know see um somebody could be a little too focused on the flaws or the little petty arguments and not just appreciating the union at hand for some of my Sagittarius out there that are single, I feel like you guys are not realizing or not wanting to acknowledge your soulmate or not realizing um, that you can have this, that you can have this energy now, that you don't have to wait for this energy. Because there's somebody that's ready for you. There's somebody that's in their head about you. Okay, um, but I feel like Sagittarius, you'll definitely have them, like, it's up to you, the ball's in your court. If you're in a relationship, like I said, I do see that it's, it's gonna, it's, it has potential to be, like, a, a great thing, you know, this is soulmate, high level soulmate vibes. But if you're not in a relationship and you're single, this is something that you can be coming across very soon or it's already here, I feel like. This this is actually already here. Like, you either know who this person is that's going to be, you know, your person. You already know who your person is or your person is already in your area. You definitely know who they is or they're in your area and you're just not seeing them, okay? Because you're focused on other things that kind of distracts you from getting this that happiness let's uh see what is the new vibes what's the new tea for my sagittarius what's what's the tea <laughs> i'm tired you guys i think it's like three in the morning four in the morning Let's see. What is the tea for the new person? What's going on with this new person for my um Sagittarius singles that that is looking but can't find nobody? God. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. You know I gotta drop some cards. What's the oop? I'm gonna take that. Oh. Okay, very interesting. Um, you guys are not... It's going to be a while before there's somebody that's going to really... You know, if this... Whoever this new person is, this could be just a fling or it could just be, you know, um, I'm just getting a lot of blocked energy here, a lot of blocked energy. And this just a lot going on. This new person could definitely be in their tower moment right now, which means that they're going through a lot. They're going through a lot as we speak. So they won't be moving forward to you guys. And I feel like this is also a message for you, Sagittarius. You have so much on your plate as well right now. You have so much on your plate. And, you know, it just, if you was to spark anything, if there was, if God was to bless you with somebody right now, the person that you want, because I know you guys don't want to waste time. Okay. You're very, very, um, you're very, very careful about your time and who you're spending your time on. You don't want to waste any more time. So I feel like a new connection right now just is not going to be ideal for your situation at this time. But I could be wrong. Listen, I'm, I could be wrong. You feel me? I'm not going to lie. I could be wrong. I, this is more to me as like a warning type vibe slash like if this is relating to the characteristics of the new person, they're not ready <laughs> at all. 
to come in. Not ready at all. But also, you guys are not ready. You can have it now. You can have it now. But will it be successful? You can obtain anything. Will it be successful is the question. Mm. That is up to your own personal. You know what applies and you know what you need let, to let fly. So that's all your personal. You know, that's where you guys have to personally go in and be like, yeah, I needed that or that message wasn't for me. However that works. Um, but let's get some more messages regarding love. Because I'm going to always give y'all the truth. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to always say how I feel, how I, what I feel like I'm hearing, what I see. Um, that's all a part of channeling for me. Like, and I just can't sugarcoat it. Some of y'all, it's just going to be as specific to where it's not going to re um, resonate with everyone. But somebody's going through it right now. Let's see, what's the messages for my sides? Okay. Pay attention to, um, yeah, pay attention to the red flags here. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, and we have true love in reverse. Yeah. Listen, it's not the right time. Right now, there's some things that you need to hear, heal some childhood uh, wounds that you're still healing from. And it's just not the right time. You thought that you've met your, your soulmate. And it turned out to, you know, not work out in your favor. Some of you, I feel like, but for some of you, there, there's a soulmate around, though. There's a soulmate in your premises. But you just... So it's, I'm, I'm going I'm to be real. Like, it's not the right time for most of y'all. It's not the right time to focus on, you know, the stability of that. There's other things that you need to heal from if you want that specific type of relationship that you are seeking. There's some things that you still need to heal from. Let's see what other messages we could get involved in love. child here so a child could be involved some of you could be having um but not even just a child being involved but like i said like your child uh, your um childhood wounds your childhood traumas that you need to you know heal from we have consultation here some of you have been trying to go within seek seek divine guidance on certain situation when it comes to love and actually this is spirit telling you if you haven't already pray about it or however it is that you get your divine guidance on your own because everybody has access all right to their own divine guidance their inner wisdom tap in if you want, if you really want answers, we have surprise here. So something could be happening in love for you that you may not see coming. This could be somebody that you work with or that you just happen to go into there. This could be something as crazy as, you know, you walking into the store and seeing, you know, seeing someone and it becomes love at first sight or something. Okay, we got melancholy here. Some of you have been feeling a little depressed, a little sad here. Feeling a little lonely. All right, feeling, feeling a little misunderstood. And then we have old woman here. So the fact that we have child and old woman here, it's two things for me. Some of you have been in a state of reflection and you're feeling like, you know, you don't want to be that person that doesn't have anybody in the long run. You don't. So you, for those who are single, you know, you're, you're not mingling and you're waiting around. You're trying to figure out what's really going on in love. You're feeling a little sad, a little lonely. Um, listen, 
the answers are already here. And there's a surprise here for you, which is a good thing to look forward to. So if you were losing hope and love, I hope that I'm able to persuade you not to, to hold on because it's coming. It's coming. Let's see, Sagittarius. Or it's already here. For some of you, it's already here. We have heartbroken. You gotta you gotta still heal. You're you're healing still. This it takes time. We have the snake. Yeah, it takes time because you've been manipulated before. Right? You have well who when you are in this mood of ascending and loving yourself and practicing this self-care or whatever. Yeah. This person, whoever is coming in or whoever it is that you know, that you feel like is the one for you, whatever this is, this passion will never die. There's going to be insane chemistry. There is insane chemistry. And this is something that... Um, this is some something that they definitely... They don't want to just jump the gun, I'm hearing. This is someone that doesn't take risk often. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't usually take risks. They're not usually, you know, they're usually strategic. But when it comes to you, it's like insane chemistry here. So be patient. Be patient um, because it, it, it'll all work out. But right now, some of you guys are just not ready for some of my singles. Y'all are not ready for uh, that commitment that you're, you're uh, waiting on. And they're not ready neither. And for some of my, um, what you might call it? My one, the ones who are in a relationship here, stop nitpicking. Or don't ever, don't get into the habit of, you know, just creating arguments just for fun and wanting to nitpick or, you know, bashing them every time they do something wrong. Like, don't, don't do that. That's a specific message for whoever's doing that. For whoever Sagittarius is just playing games. Stop playing games with your person before you lose them. All right? So that's what I got. For my Sagittarius, if that resonated in any type of way, please leave a comment in the comment section below. It's your good sis, Lava the Empress, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Sag.